Hi, Dyslexic Genius here, Brett Hurt. My phone number is 864-236-1680, or you can email me at dyslexicgeniushurt at gmail.com. You ever wondered when you put the spindle shaft into the turntable and it's wobbly? Well, in my last video, I discussed cobbled together machines like this Victor 5 I'm working on, and I want to show you something. When you put one in, it should be tight. There'll be a little bit of movement, but not wiggling. So what happens when you, when the spindle shaft is wiggling inside the turntable hole here, and you're balancing the turntable, you're always going to get that movement in it because the turntable's loose on the spindle shaft. But there's a very quick fix for this. What you need is a center punch, and you'll see this big fat thing one here and you see this very delicate small center punch I have that's the center punch you want to use and a little bit goes a long ways what you want to do is I set mine up on my vise so the end will pop out everything's good you want to set it down on the bench and you want to very gently give it a little tap, just a little mark. Then you're going to check it. And you're gonna go, that's much tighter. And you're gonna work back and forth with this. So you'll pull this out, maybe give another mark another center punch mark very lightly we're not you're not driving into this very light and you might have two or three four I've done up to ten punches on one of these to fix them and what happens is when the spindle shaft the end of the spindle shaft goes into the turntable hole when you do that the little burr that the punch makes it burrs up like this it'll just squeeze in like that it'll tighten it up and, it, and you're not going to be pulling the turntable off and on all the time, but it will tighten that part up. The other thing is, on my last video, I showed you I built the end of this. And you see that I blued it. Why did I blue it? Well, these early shafts are not hard. They're soft. The other ones are like case hardened. They're very hard. And you can see the rust in here. So I blued this one because I didn't want the rust to start rusting on this tip because usually they're they're plated and then they polish them out to make them look nice and that's why I did this and I told the customer this is what I'm doing I could have made it in stainless if they wanted it but they didn't this is a much cheaper way to go but it looks very nice you know this is a lot of fun and that's my tip for the day